Yeah, and it looks like we're going to head to our loser semis. Itabashi Zangi versus Sien. Of course, made it out over Bonchan. Very, very close match. That last little command dash that sealed the deal. That was uh, extremely good. And, you know, Sien has been that player, like, this weekend, I think probably the biggest surprise. Not that he's not an excellent player, but, you know, his 2018 has been, like, maybe not been what rocking. we usually seen. Yeah, but the second half of it, he wasn't as focused on uh, Street Fighter. But once he, like, tightens things up, he's just so good. Mm, that's definitely true. I mean, we've been looking at him. Like we said, we, he is an EVO champion, and we've seen him on multiple big stages representing and, and just being one of the go-to players when it comes to the tech for characters like Abuki. And a lot of people look up to him, especially right. on his home turf. I mean, and what would you expect? But even more so, still, <sighs> this loser side match is really, about to, it's really about to make some changes. I mean, Itabashi yeah. Zangief has been playing amazing all weekend, too. Dude, that set with Justin the entire time. He's just, like, crawling his way in to try to get in, uh, get in against Justin Wong. And he finally did. Itabashi Zangi, if you can see there, started out the day against Angry Bird, right? He got the W there, moved on against Justin. Sien also started in loser side, beat Momochi and Bonchan back to back in very close set, 3 1, 3 2. Now the two of them are in losers semis, top four of the tournament. And we've only got a few sets until we know who is our Capcom Cup champion for this year. Fujimura waiting on that loser side to face the winner. Yeah, the winner of this match will get a chance against him. And uh, I am so curious. He's already he's turning. He's turning already. already. He's already command thrown 15 times. <laughs> That's Itabashi, right? He's always like that. He's always such a jolly guy. You see him at every event. He's just trying to play games. Oh yeah. Look at his phone and play games. I've seen him at multiple tournaments, just playing casuals. I saw him at a uh, the Red Bull NA final, just there playing just a bunch, a bunch of casuals. Yeah, made it in the Capcom Cup on uh, the later half of the the points, and he's. Just looked really solid this weekend. Obviously, twice in a row made it to the Capcom Cup Top 8, the finals. And uh, Sien on the other side, we talked about him being evil finalist, multi-game specialist back in the day. Mm -hmm. He's just super impressive at, you know, figuring out exactly what he needs to do to kind of, like, uh, make his opponent crack. And yeah. that he's really good at that style, although he's up against a very dangerous man in Itabashi Zengi. Yeah, Zian has a way of uh, getting in the cracks to annoy you. We've seen a bunch of his setups, especially in the corner, going for some of those empty jump setups. Um, and just the fact that he's so resilient when it comes to some of these situations that he's been put in. I mean, he's really about to be tested right now because now he has to fight in Abigail and Abuki doesn't have that kind of life. Mm -hmm. We've seen what happens if Abigail touches you, you explode. And Abuki cannot be touched. Exactly, yeah. If this character gets hit, she's... It might be lights out, right? Same kind of thing we saw with Minot, except she doesn't have those long-range normals to keep away. She's in second, I have to fight it out. Loser semis here. Sien opens up the V-Skill. One of the better, like, long-range poke options she has, actually. Uh-oh. What an anti-air. Itabashi Zangief has been doing that really well this weekend. Okay, gets the crush, takes that opportunity to get out of the corner. I like that move by Zien. Yeah, very important, right? I mean, he was 10 seconds in, he was cornered already. It's a dangerous position to be. The oh. VCL loses. The giant flip again. Sien's got to be looking for him. Repeat offender. You're going to keep doing it? There we go. Gets the low forward. Activate in the trigger too. I mean, we talked about the damage, the life that Abigail has, and it's going to take a lot of work to stop it. Here we go. There's the activation. Okay, wake up, EX. Yeah, scary wake up. If that doesn't work out, that's the end of the round. But hit a Bashi with tons of V-trigger left, walking him down. And look at him. Just scout. Trying to see if you're going to go to the air. Out of range. Oh, no anti here. Jump in. This is big. Kunai, take the knockdown on Raida. Oh. Other side on the Kunai release. Oh, that was scary. Yeah, that mix up is really, really potent. We see Fujimura almost always stay in the front, mm -hmm. but Sien likes to do that command dash through the other side. And we've seen a few variations on it too. Him doing standing medium punch, doing like a weak command dash in the middle just to see if you're going to be able to block it. Yeah, all these buttons to keep Sien out, but there's the heavy kick ant here. It kind of picks that diagonal angle where uh, he likes to jump in at. Oh, no confirm. Not spinning any of those EX Kunai. Just taking the ground, stays in front this time. And look at that damage. That's bad news. Giant flip out of range. What a whiff punish. Tries to go for the parry, and still, Sien gets the mix up. The full combo switches sides in the corner, and still. Ooh, the back that she activates. Hit a Bashi Zangi. He looks for the jump out. Gotta watch the charge fear soon. Checking in with the crouch jabs, that neutral jump just in case to meet him in the air. Looking, he's really looking for that jump out. Trade on the command dash. It missed. This is big. Mix up here. What does he got? Oh, oh command throw. That's what you get. Out of the air. That's gonna do it. Itabashi Zangief, the madman. Oh my. Like he command throw? He was like, yeah. I bet you think I won't do it. <laughs> 
Joke's on you, pal. Off the backboard. Alley oop to myself. I'm still in the round. Ooh, and he's walking him down. We've seen so many of those giant flips work out for Itabashi. A lot of the cancels. Oh, the parry the other side. Oh, just a delay. Gets the crush counter steal. And now Zien's in trouble. He's being back down to that corner. Gets the anti air confirm into full CA. And look at the red on the side of Obuki's life bar. All right, he gets Oki after this too. Dash up. Catches the jump. Zien in trouble. Wakes up with a button. Okay, side switch. Kind of devious mix up. Goes to the other side. Gets the throw. Once again, Abigail has a lot of life. That V reverse is going to put a little gray life on there. Almost a tap is going to do it, but still chipping away. Goes for the EX. Another V reversal. There's a jump. Gets the cross up. Zian's not out of this yet. Tries Jump back to light kick. For the overhead. That's been Itabashi's savior the entire weekend. Ooh, jumps the kunai. He has two left. Two left. Looking for that air to air, looking for the jump, trying to scout it as well. Oh, and that, there it is! That's what you were talking about, that air to air Itabashi Zangief. Abigail wins. Dude, Itabashi Zangief. He's so good. <laughs> this dude is ridiculous. He's making Tian fight for every single inch, right? Trying to get any mix up going. Itabashi's like, nah, I blocked those. Jen has turned it around. He's found the hit, but Abigail is a big boy. Mm -hmm. He takes so much more damage. It takes so much more to get him down. Yeah, normally when that V-Trigger mix-up hits for Ibuki, it's about to be the end of the round, but you just have so much life on this character, and Itabashi knows how to spend it well. And the guesses that he's taking, just to, like, jump out to control that neutral, that last air-to-air -air that we saw, gets the crush counter. All, like, indicative of the mindset Itabashi has right now in this matchup. And look at the stun! Yeah, bad spot for Sien. The oh, trade wow. is gonna come back. Just blocks it oh, and command what? throws. And it reset. That's full damage off the command throw. One more, and Zen might be down. Back throw. Okay, here we go. Here we go. EX Kunai, same side, overhead. Tries to stop it. Once again, the crouch of medium punch cancel. Side punch. switch, let's go. Gets He's the, got the stun. Zen! He's got one bar here, maybe. Takes the knockdown. In the front with the Kunai, nice block. EX! EX. Oh, he wasn't charging it in the back throw. Oh my gosh, he the watch is his Wake up, command throw. Wake up, back throw. He's just trying to live. Sien with one extra dash. If that was an overhead, if that was a throw bait, he would have got him. Almost brings it all the way back. Oh man, he is swinging with that crouching medium punch. Oh, There's the, the crush. crush. Trying to go for the legs. Anti-air jab. Everybody is just getting hit by delayed arm punch right now. Yeah, everybody's trying to jump the confirm right into the critical arm. This is a lot of damage, folks. Uh, the question, do you uppercut? Do you just try to block the mix-up? Clip that. them. V-Trigger available. Spends it, but the V-Reversal, Itabashi jumps back. This is a long road for Sien. All right, gets the EX Kunai right on top of that. Gets another confirm. Goes for the sweep. That's not going to work. Abigail. Itabashi 2-0. Abigail wins. This is looking like the worst uphill battle for Zen. It is looking really, really difficult right now. Going to take a second here to think about it. Down 0-2. We saw Itabashi in the same position, actually, in the reverse against Justin, right? Down 0-2 made the comeback. And this is where Zen has to sit and think. We talked about how crafty, how smart this man is. Mm -hmm. And this is where it all comes to a head. He looks up. Give me strength. Ninjas of the past. Praying to his village. <laughs> I see the way. Open your eyes. Believe. It. All right, here we go. Love Last chance. Love. I love that Ibuki's occupation slash job is ninja. <laughs> it's a full-time job. Look, man. It is a full-time job being a ninja, man. She's like contractor. Round one. She works for different ninja villages. Oh, yeah, man. That's how to get up in rank. Man, early jump. Itabashi's ready for it. Oh, boy. The giant flip cancel. We haven't seen a lot of interrupts on that from Sien. Oh, no. Already cornered. Oh, nice. This time setting out with the kunai just to make sure there's nothing in the way. Gets the side switch as well. The cross up? Oh, that was freaky. Uh oh. Left, right mix up here. Stays in the front. Got a counter hit, and this is big now. Reloads the kunai. Goes to the other side, the counter, he had an answer for both sides. Uh-oh, activates. Look at this damage. Reset there. Goes low, oh. the armor, he beat it, and EX Rider killed. Chien, pulling out all the stops. He 
had an answer. He figured one out. Command dash up. Itabashi's ready for it. Jab checking at an all-time high here at Capcom, though. They are not letting anybody get away with that foolishness. Itabashi full meter now. Spends one. Nice. Gets the cross up once again. So back in the corner, Itabashi looking for maybe a V-skill or forward approach from Sien. Giving them that space. To, oh, wow. Parries the kunai. Gets full conversion. And now they're back in the middle of the screen. There's that activation. A little too far for the EX Giant. Flip the combo. The run. Oh, he stayed in front. Didn't get the cross up. Look at the damage from the command throw. We've seen that dash up crouching. Short situation. Oh, he command dashed it. V-skill. The mix up here. What has he got? Goes behind. Wow. Nice block confirm. Oh, he got him with the giant flip. Oh, caught him on the legs. There's the throw, Shin. Still alive. Kunai left. He oh got the uppercut. Shin. Shin is not trying to lose. That is the man who wants to win. He wants to win. Staying alive here in the tournament. Man. Oh, dude. He knows how to make it exciting. I tell you what. Tell you what. Jump back into it. That early V skill from Tien. Oh, oh my. What a whiff punish. That was so far. David said earlier that nobody's whiff punishing with that move. We stand corrected. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess to confirm off the crush. Out of the air. Oh, too far on the rider, though. To take throw. Sends out the EX. There's the challenge right there on the command jump. In the back dash. Tien doesn't want to get involved now that he's in V trigger. Kind of yeah. pick your spots. Very carefully. Command dash through. Oh, that seems to be working out splendidly for Shin right now. Yeah, the jab didn't go the right way. It was already out. Trying to build a little bit of V-skill there. The guard break. All right. Oh, no. Tried to go for a reset, but that one works out. That's going to be the round and set point for Itabashi Zangief to make it to losers finals. We'll see if he has it in him. Give me another round. I demand it. Yeah, Sien, I like the way he's using that command dash to kind of throw off Itabashi on the ground. Yeah, just like that. Oh, drop the air-to-air -air combo. Reversal buttons from Itabashi. Swinging for the fences. There's a throw. Oh, jump back in the corner. EX DP from Sien. I like him taking his time. Looking for the jump back once again. We've seen some... Oh, wow, pretty good. Can't jump on me. He's been looking for it the entire weekend. Just using that pressure just to scare you into hitting buds. That opens up so many options. You can get that command throw option. Activates on block. Other side. Nice. Hitabashi staying alive. Even though he got hit a couple of times. Full meter. Next hit. But oh. Sien wakes up with buttons. Oh, Jump get over. The cross up. EX. Goes for the rider. Oh, the command throw. This is huge. EX giant flip for as much damage as he can get. Itabashi Zangief moving on to Losers Finals. <sighs> like I said, man, that was a tall order. Guys, make some noise for Shin, man. He's going home, but what a showing once again, man. That dude is a champ. <sighs> Fourth place at Capcom Cup. Itabashi's like, I'm staying right here. And he is. He's got a tall order next. You said it earlier about Sien against Itabashi. He's playing up against Fujimura in the Losers Finals. Got to take out two ninjas? Two? Back to back. Yeah, he has to fight the Ibuki matchup again. And if he wins that, he has to fight against Gachku. Look, uh, this is the, the big boy struggle here. It's not that hard of a struggle, though. As you can see, the damage Abigail is outputting on these little girls. It's not fair. <laughs> They're ninjas, man. They have, like, all kinds of ninja That's tools. That's true. They got, like, kunais and disappearing and shadow dashes. I guess you're right. It's, it's possible. Jutsus and everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. they'll be fine. Mm -hmm. All the ninja tools in their ninja pouch. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in, especially you guys watching at home. This is Capcom Cup 2018. Say Jam Tasty Steve on the mic. Make sure